John Hartman here today in my LaFontaine studio to talk to you about another one of the authors, uh, Megan Coles, who, uh, whose portrait I painted as part of the exhibition and book, Many Lives Mark This Place. Megan uh, grew up in Savage Cove, Newfoundland, which is on the Great Northern Peninsula. I'll show you the painting of uh, Megan that I painted for this exhibition. Uh, Savage Cove uh, is on the low, sort of rocky shoreline that uh, on the Straits of Belle Isle, which separates uh, the Great Northern Peninsula of Newfoundland and the coast of Labrador. Uh, Megan grew up here, but she lives primarily in St. John's now. This is uh, the house that Megan restored in Savage Cove, which was her grandmother's house. This is a storm-battered, wind-hammered shoreline and uh, Megan writes beautifully about it in her piece uh, in this book. Uh, Megan, as I say, lives primarily in St. John's and that's where I met her in 2015. She had just published this book, Eating Habits of the Chronically Lonesome. Uh, and um, uh, when I went to St. John's, um, uh, I went there to photograph and sketch uh, Lisa Moore, uh, Michael Crummy, Kevin Major, the better known at that time um, uh, Newfoundland authors. Uh, and uh, a friend of mine, Christina Parker, said, you should be painting uh, Megan Coles as part of this project. And so I went to the local bookstore, I got this book, I began reading it and contacted Megan and she agreed to sit for her portrait. Since then she's become uh, much better known across Canada. I would say at the time she was known in, in Newfoundland. Now she's becoming uh, increasingly well known across the country. Her uh, newest book, Small Game Hunting at the local Coward Gun Club, uh, has was nominated, shortlisted for the Giller and is on this year's list for Canada Reads. This particular book though uh, is a uh, uh, absolutely uh, breathtakingly good piece of uh, fiction writing. It's a series of short stories and in it Megan is like a one-person literary army marching across the uh, uh, social fabric of uh, contemporary society uh, re relentlessly pointing out uh, the hypocrisy, uh, inconsistencies, and strangeness uh, of our family relationships and our interpersonal love relationships. And um, this would be um, kind of overwhelming and too much for most readers, but what Megan does as the narrator in each of these fictional uh, short stories is that the narrator is as deprecating of themselves as they are of the other characters in each piece of writing. And the result of that is that it gives the writing levity, it gives it humor. Uh, at the same time, it's incredibly poignant and often very sad. So you've got these two elements of humor and poignancy, sadness, all together in, in her writing. And it really is uh, a remarkable book. I think she's a, uh, um, a really great new voice on the Canadian literary scene. And I urge you all to read Eating Habits of the Chronically Lonesome. Thank you.